And I think tissue engineering, although it has been a field that started a number of decades ago um, and has made a number of great advancements in the field, you know, has, you know, been a little bit um, stunted in its uh, progress. Um, and, you know, in these past, you know, I would say 10 years, we've made many breakthroughs, you know, you know, in the field one, in the popularization of using um, induced pluripotent stem cell derived lineages as a cell source for engineered tissues for the longest time, particularly for cardiovascular application, there really wasn't a good cell source um, for, for generating these tissues. And when um, the iPSCs became really popularized and became very easy to use, that really, you know, gave us this cell source that we can use for scaling up, you know, where we can create potentially up to billions of cells nowadays, you know, in, in, in our laboratories. Um, you know, I think in terms of the, the next frontier and the, the newest advances really have to do with creating more geometrically complex scalable 3D structures. You know, I think that's sort of the, the next frontier. And there have been, I think, a number of advancements in recent years owing to the new technologies that have been developed, including that of 3D bioprinting. Now, of course, 3D bioprinting has its other applications that, that may not just be um, solely for tissue engineering, but the ability of applying, um, you know, 3D bioprinting for creating these more spatially, you know, uh, complex as well as complex in terms of cellular compositions. And that's another, that's also been a very big limitation in the field of being able to create engineered tissues where the cells have defined locations as well as, um, you know, interactions with other cell types. So I think that's been also another, you know, an area that I think has really revolutionized, um, you know, the, this field. Um, I think that, you know, those are some of the, the, the major, you know, advances that I see, but I think with the rise of also advanced computational biology, you know, the use of technologies like, you know, single cell RNA sequencing, we're also better able to understand what is actually going on at the cellular level. Previously, we were really just focusing on um, just looking at the, the the big picture in terms of just looking at global, you know, cell function when this when the cells are on the tissue on these engineered uh, scaffolds. But now with single cell RNA sequencing, we're able to really understand their underlying biology, and this information will help us drive, you know, how to create more, um, you know, tissue guiding, you know, scaffolds, you know, that present the right kind of cues for tissue engineering purposes. So, you know, we think that, you know, there's still a lot to be done, but with all of the advances in technology recently, I think we are getting closer to understanding the complexity of what it takes to make, you know, 3D, you know, um, scalable tissues.